Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll discuss about the CUCM and UNIT integration, like how we can do the integration between CUCM and Unity. So let's start. Let's let's we will just uh, start first with the theory part, and then I will show you all the configurations on the CUCM side as well as on the Unity side. Okay, let's start the theory part first. So the integration between CUCM and Unity, we can we can do it in two ways, either through SCCP or through SIP. SCCP means we can do the integration with the help of ports. And if we are doing the SIP integration, then we can just make a trunk and then we can do the integration. So in the SCCP part, there is like, it's a one-to-one -one relation between the VM ports on CUCM as well as and on the Unity connection. So why SCCP is preferred because the troubleshooting is easy on the SCCP side and the MWI work in the SCCP integration is very simple. It's like we can troubleshoot it very easily if there is any issue on the voicemail thing. So with the help of MWI, like if there is any issue with MWI, the on and off is not triggering. So it's very easy to troubleshoot it on the SCCP side. If I talk about the SIP side, so in the SIP integration, it involves only one SIP trunk per Unity connection server. It means you just need to create one SIP trunk from CUCM to Unity, and then all the calls will be going through that SIP trunk only, not through the ports. Just like in the SCCP, it will take the different, different ports, but in the SIP, it will go with the only one trunk, one SIP trunk, which you created. And in the SIP, we can say the Unity connection uses SIP notify messages to turn on and off MWIs. Likewise, in SSAP, it, it, we need to create MWI on and off extension numbers. In the SIP, it will just send a notify message to just uh, turn on the indicator or the turn off the indicator. So next part, let's uh, discuss about the configuration of SCCP configuration on the CUCM side. Okay, so like you can see it on the screen. So we have voicemail profile, voicemail pilot, hunt pilot, hunt list, and all these things, line group and voicemail ports. So this down arrow means if if we are uh, if we are discussing about the call routing, like how the call routing is being done when there is one call which is getting transferred from the phone to the voicemail. So it will hit the voicemail profile first. So I'm, I'm discussing about the routing part right now. So it will hit the voicemail profile first and then voicemail profile consists of voicemail pilot number. It will then it will hit the voicemail pilot number. And then we have hunt pilot number as well, which is same as voicemail pilot. Make sure hunt pilot number should be same as voicemail pilot number. Why are we creating hunt pilot number here? Because we have so many ports which we configured on the voicemail and we don't know like from which port it should go, like the call, which the that call should go to which port. So that's why we need hunting so that it will take the randomly, like we can do it in circular, or the broadcast, we, we can do anything like that depends on the algos which are already there. So now, so that for that we need to create a hunt pilot number which should be same as the voicemail pilot number. And then hunt pilot consists of hunt list. So it will go from hunt pilot number to the hunt list and from hunt list to the line group. And in the line group, we have VM ports configured and then it will go from the line group to the VM ports. So this is the routing. And if I talk about the configuration, like how we can configure all these things, we need to start with the voicemail ports first, like from down to up. You can see it on the right side, it is showing configuration. So you need to do the configuration from down to up. So first you need to create the voicemail ports. I will show you in the lab once I will do it. I will show how to create the voicemail ports there. And once the voicemail ports has been configured, we can create the line group in that voicemail port wizard as well actually, or you can create it later on as well. So after voicemail ports has been configured, you need to create the line group and line group contains VM ports. You need to mention, you need, there is an option to add it. 
after that you need to create a hunt list and that hunt list should contain the line group which already contain the voicemail port so you need to select the line group in the hunt list so before creating hunt list you should have line group before creating line group you should have voicemail ports so after hunt list is created you need to create a hunt pilot number because that hunt pilot number contains hunt list so once you create the hunt pilot number you need to create the voicemail pilot number as well which should be same as hunt pilot make sure voicemail pilot number and the hunt pilot number should be same so once the voicemail pilot number has been configured then you need to create one voicemail profile because that voicemail profile contains voicemail pilot number and this voicemail profile we need to put it on the line page of our phone so once you put the voicemail profile it will just uh, take this called routing part after voice after the voicemail profile hits it will go to the voicemail pilot number then hunt pilot and then so on and it's just the same let's let's move on to the uh configuration so we have sip configuration on the cucm side earlier we discussed about the ssap configuration on the cucm side let's discuss about the sip configuration on the cucm side if we are doing the sip so here you can see the call routing from up to down so if the call routing it will hit the voicemail profile first and then it will hit the voicemail pilot so now you can see there is no need to create a hunt pilot number because we are not doing any hunting if we are using the sip integration so we just need to create a voicemail pilot number and then we need to create a route pattern so once you create a route pattern after voicemail pilot so after voicemail pilot it will hit the route pattern you need to give the same numbers to the voicemail pilot and the route pattern so once it will hit the route pattern uh, there will be a sip trunk under that route pattern it will hit that sip trunk which we created for the unity and then it will hit the unity now if we discuss about the configuration it's the same as ssap like we need to configure the things from bottom to up you need to create a sip trunk first but for the sip trunk you need to create two things the first one is uh, i can say the sip profile you need to create for the sip trunk you need to create the sip profile and the next thing which you need to create for the sip trunk that is sip trunk security profile so these are the two mandatory things which you need to create before creating a sip trunk so once you create sip profile and a sip trunk security profile then you can create a sip trunk because that sip trunk contains sip profile and the sip trunk security profile which you need to select and once your sip trunk has been configured then you can create a route pattern once you create a route pattern it will just ask to select the sip trunk so you will select the sip trunk which you created and then you can create the voicemail pilot number same as the route pattern number so here uh, you can just take an example you are creating a route pattern as 1234 then voicemail pilot number should be 1234 and then you need to create a voicemail profile which contains the voicemail pilot number so that it will hit so this is the configuration on the cucm side related to the sip integration so let's discuss about the configuration on the unity side so on the unity side you can see you can see it on the screen ssap and sip configuration on the unity side is almost same it's nothing it's it's not not a different actually you need to create you need to create a phone system for both configuration like sip as well as ssap integration then you need to create a port groups and you need to add the ucm ips like first publisher then you can add the subscribers ips that depends on you if you want to add subscriber ips then you can then we have ports we need to create the number of ports as well so there is one difference while creating the ssap and sip configuration on unity whenever you are configuring the port group it will ask whether you need an integration of ssap or sip there you will choose whether you are using the ssap or sip 
once you choose the SACP, it will ask for MWI on and MWI off extension number. You need to create those extension number in CUCM as well. So, and once you choose SIP, it will not ask for that MWI on and off extension because we are not configuring anything named as MWI on and off in the SIP integration because SIP integration will send only the notify messages to the phone. That's the main thing. That's the main difference actually in the SSCP and the SIP configuration. And then you need to do the same thing at the CUCM IP. And uh, once you click on the ports, you need to add the number of ports which you want to use. That's it. This is the configuration on the Unity side. So now let's, uh, let's do the configuration on the CUCM as well as Unity. I'll show you all the things I will show you. I will configure everything related to the CSS partition and the SIP trunk, SIP trunk security profile, the SIP profile, everything. I'll show you in my lab. I hope you liked my video. Please let me know in the comment section and please like and share my video with your friends and colleagues. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon as well so that you can receive my notifications of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.